Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. So, I did something really stupid. Well, actually, I didn't just do something stupid. Uh, Shadow Play messed up, and I lost six episodes because there was no audio. Now, I was tempted just to record over audio, but I've decided, why the hell not just give you guys a tour? So this episode is literally just going to be a tour <laughs> of what I've done. But uh, six episodes is basically a month and a half worth of content. So I'm having to make up for that now. Uh, which kind of sucks, but it, uh, at the same time it's quite good. Um, so we're going to have to go through everything that I've done. And I'm probably going to miss something. So I, or I might cover things again. So I, I think what I'm going to do is just give you guys a tour of everything that's in this exhibit. And that'll be it for an episode. So it'll just be like a tour episode, like a catch-up episode. Uh, so obviously I've done... Oh god. I've done the fence. So we've got the fence going all the way around now. Um, one thing that I did with this giraffe is people were saying it was too orange. Uh, this is really weird for me, by the way, because I'm saying what I'd said before, like yesterday. Uh, but, yeah, people are saying they didn't like the orange, so I've got this special version, and you've probably seen that in the texture pack now. I've got this Savannah yellow, uh, like, acacia version of it. Uh, I've also mixed up with the oak wood to try and make, like, a brownish one. I didn't go with the coloured wood slabs, though I should have done. Probably should have gone with the coloured wood slabs, but I keep on forgetting that I've got those. Uh, but, yeah, we've got that. I think it looks pretty cool. You know, it does. It does look cool. Um, another thing that I did, obviously we've got the gates, we've got these really big gates, uh, so I've got this one here and I made a track going through, and this goes to one of Zarius' jeeps, which I freak, think, freak, look, look at it, it looks cool, it's freaking awesome, I think that it just looks awesome, um, place wise as well, not only, you know, not only is it a cool jeep, but I think well, it's whole position here and this whole trail thing, I just love it, I love how that looks. And I can't wait until I've actually finished this place, because that will look awesome. But the idea for this was that, uh, you know, they've just got some people out, maybe because this bus over there, and I've got a bus, tour bus over there. Uh, someone might have gone wrong, and they're here, and they've got their guns on here, just in case the elephant goes nuts, or the giraffes lick their faces, or I don't know. Something like that. So I've got that there, but one of the ideas that I had here was to basically cut back all of these. Now, I probably need a variation which mixes between grass and the dirt, and I'm, I'm probably going to do that at some point. I might do like a really simple version and then go on to a more complicated one. If I do that, I'll, I'll put that in here, because uh, it does look a little bit strong, but on the Xbox PlayStation versions, you guys can do this. So it's just making a couple curves to make it look like the cars come out of here and driven around and stuff. And I also started to knock back a couple of these, but I've still got quite a lot on here, so I'm messing around with that, but I'll show you guys that later. So yeah, Cyrus has got those on his channel, link in the description, obviously. Uh, another thing I'll start to do is to put in a little bit more details, like bushes and things, because uh, Savannah does have quite a few bushes around, and also just random rocks. Just throwing in these like random rock type formations. Um, this one was quite a bit weird. A tiny little tree. I don't know about it, but um, got a couple of those. Um, I made this weird hole thing, like a dried up riverbed. That was the idea. It was supposed to be like this dried up area. So I put that in. Um, I might just do something like that. Um, so yeah, I put that in. Look kind of interesting. So I've got those. Um, I didn't do anything on this side at all, except I put in this bus. Uh, what I did do over on here, and I, I actually go through the exhibit parts first, or no, I'll do this bit first. So I'm pretty sure now this is where I don't remember <laughs> what I did and what I didn't do. Now I've got the bus. Obviously, we've got the tour bus. Another Zarius one tutorial. His channel. Before you ask, I know somebody will ask. Uh, I also need to change around these ladders because I've got something newer for that. I've actually textured the rails, which I think looks better. Like this, so I've put like a metal version of those. But yeah, that's just... Shut up. <laughs> I just need to shut up. <laughs> yeah, so that's really cool. Uh, I did make this really awesome bus stop. So I had to weld edit these levers on. But they look really cool onto that. Uh, just using... What was this? Uh, the white wool, wool stairs got a bin. I've got uh, a couple of glass panes around here and some glass blocks. Got that sign there. But it's just like a rounded one and it's got three colours as well. So it's got the light grey, grey, and then black, basically. Those those three different colours. I just found that looked really cool. Uh, it just looked nice and round and it goes up. So I'll, I'll probably do a random tutorial on that. It's a really simple one because it is. It's a really simple design. You can use it for anything. Uh, so yeah, the fence goes all the way around. Spent an entire episode doing this little bit, or well, a couple episodes out actually here, and you can see some animals in there as well. They are derpy as hell, and I love them for their derpiness. Um, so yeah, so we got this bus here. 
that would of course you know drive out and we'll, we'll go and explore those bits in a bit and I've, I've still got tons to do here this was actually stuff I was supposed to do off camera so uh, oops then again I didn't know that this was going on so it wasn't recording so knocking all these down knocking a couple of these down as well so there we go but what we've got so we've got this bus here well I need to think about this logically we needed to have a safari tour basically booth where you buy it so I've got this weird little building I just I just wanted something simple I didn't want anything too complicated so I just did this thing uh, modular design I never use my texture pack for this because I, I hate the logs and I still hate the logs uh, I will be redoing these and when I do redo them I will spend hours and hours on them to make them really awesome but um yeah I think I just, just need to be a little bit cartoonier cartoonier yeah um so yeah we've got that we've got this kind of area here I've actually just thought about something that would make it look better so we might as well do that as I'm talking so yeah you know you need somewhere where people can actually pay for things and there we go I mean, look how stupidly simple that is. How did I forget about that? That's just not not affected anything. But yeah, we need somewhere for the people to pay for things. So I've got these like chairs. I've used some of the biome doors here because you can't see the back of them. It looks kind of good. Uh, I've just got this thing here, which is the damaged anvil that Zarius asked for, uh, for like cars and stuff or motors, motorbikes. I think. But I just want to look cool as like some weird printer, <laughs> something like that for tickets. Uh, so there we go. We've got another door in here, and obviously the doors are. <laughs> I love the textures. I love how you can't meta the textures, but uh, yeah. So we've got this like very simple thing with a couple little shelves, a couple little crates and office files and things. And they'd sit down here and you get got these nice little seats and I think that looks cool. I love these seats. Um, I think they just work really nicely in general. So I'm going to be doing something cool with them texture-wise where it wraps around and joins and stuff, but that is for a later day. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah, got that. Uh, that's that's kind of a nice little sitting area. You got this PC as well, so they can do, you know, print off the cards, or if they've got like a Safari pass um, to go in, they might actually have a physical pass that they register them, or they take a picture and you get a picture on your card or something. There might be something like that. I don't know. But obviously, you need money, so we've got an ATM. And while you're waiting for these buses, because these buses might take a while to go through, and you can snap pictures, they might stop and things. I mean, you can obviously uh, go all the way in here. Maybe maybe this only goes halfway and then it's like a safe point but people can walk around a little bit in some areas, certain areas of this safari. Obviously if it was realistic it'd be even bigger than this for this kind of driving thing. Um, also Quitster did raise the thing about shouldn't I have a double gate? Yeah, yeah quits I should. But um but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna have and I'll do i I'll do that like next episode or something. I'm gonna make some like speaker things around here so that it makes noise. Uh, and that scares away these things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fudge it because Quits <laughs> raised that, and I should have put in another gate like around here, so you could drive in. Then the gate over here could close. Then this one opens. Always people, well things can run out, but nah, it's fine. So yeah. Anyway, I'll fudge that with some noise stuff. Uh, so yeah, we got an ATM. Uh, this is just a really simple design using the special biome. Special biome. The what are they called? I think Sky Biome? Yeah, Sky Biome in my pack, if you use the... If you obviously got Optifine and stuff. You get these like white trap doors. It would just work normally, but there you go. Nice little design, just using the stone brick stair in there underneath as well. Really cool. Uh, we then have hot dogs. So yeah, we got some hot dogs. And I'm actually going to possibly put this right one. I don't know. I don't know which one looks better. I'm going to do that for now. It's quite cartoony that one actually. I've only just texted this last night and I've never used it. Uh, and also it doesn't join up quite right. Or is it there? Oh, it's, I can see the line. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, I can fix that. So yeah, we've got this. Um, now, the closest head that I had to it was a taco. Yes, I know, it's a taco, it's not a hot dog. But this is the closest I had and I should have made this a taco bar maybe. But yeah, we go. We've got a nice little simple till thing here, which have just got some light grey carpet. I got some carpet down here as well, and also you probably noticed the colour change. Uh, this was to make it feel like a designated area, I suppose that the idea was. Uh, I also need something around here. I, d I don't know what. I was thinking about a storage area uh, or something. Not really too sure. I'm not really too sure. Uh, in a zoo, you would fill every area that's available to you, really. Uh, so I might have. I know what I can do. I can have a feed file. Feed file? Feed pile. I'm going to have a feed pile. So. Also aware that I'm probably going to go on for 20 minutes about this. Yeah, I know. I need to change the hay. I know I do. It looks hideous. 
Um, but yeah, most of the time they would actually have stuff like this. I don't know if you've ever been to a zoo. I went to one recently and they actually had like a proper hay part and stuff. Uh, leaves, things. I need to change the texture, but it does its job for now. So yeah, we've got this, we've got a beer fridge as well so you can sell cold drinks. You've got like an open freezer. Really simple design for hot dog stand. It's just got, you know, five wide in total. Uh, I've used the pistons because they've got this nice material here going across. Then we've got a couple furnaces here with uh, rails across and, you know, you've got a little till and you've got just a tacker on there. And, and I've used the coloured wall slabs that I've got in my pack, you know, cheaty slabs that I've got in vanilla somehow. Well, uh, kind of vanilla, you need dog to find, but yeah, got bin. Uh, and I've got these, like, small areas, and I've got a couple, couple of them, actually, uh, depending on their size, so I've gone for different umbrellas. And these are, like, different umbrella sizes. So, like, here we've got block, slab, and then we've got carpet, and we've got the floating uh, string. By the way, the reason it's purple is because without shaders, you can't see this. Uh, so you can kind of see, like, like you can kind of see through it. Um, if I go off with shaders, if I take them off, there you go, you can't see them at all. So that's why I've done... I've got that, um, and why that looks weird. I could weld edit these in place, and I probably will. A weird lighting glitch. Well, that is really weird. My light's standing in the weirdest spot ever. That is so strange. Okay, that's fine. I'll let them flash. Why not? <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> simple chairs. Just a like slab of a backing. And I wanted really simple chairs here. I didn't want elegant ones. So I've got those couple coke coke things, uh, a couple of these trays that I need to change again. At some point I will change these. Uh, we'll see. I might just meta different ones because currently you just get random colours. But actually that looks all right random colour wise. Um, I kind of like that. So yeah, we got all of those drinks and things. Really simple, and then just a, a small fence, but yeah, a different colour. So when you're going down here, or when if you are sitting here, for example, having your food, you you don't feel as open. I, was, I think if there was just people walking past, right past you when you're eating, where it just stops people from doing that. But that's that bit there. So we've got a nice little eating area. We've got some hot dogs. Safari dogs. Oh, let's give it a name, yeah. Sa safari dogs. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. Let's do squirrelies. Squirrelies? Squigglies? Where's squigglies? I think squigglies are that one. That's an at sign. Uh, no one. Right, now we need to take off probably three of them. So we'll do that, and I'll just do safari dogs. I could do like dogs like that, but I think just safari dogs, which actually sounds really horrific of what's actually in these. But um, that's fine, isn't it? That's weird though that that's at the top and that's at the no, I don't know. That's fine. So there we go. We got safari dogs. I've just got, you know, the Safari Tour, $5, because I'm going with dollars in this one for some reason. Uh, but yeah, that, that just seemed to work. Right, so next, we got some really derpy animals. Oh my god, you guys are actually going to love this. I was laughing my head off. Oh god, i got a drink. Uh, I was laughing I was laughing so hard when doing these. I, seriously, it was just... I don't even know if I can show you these. Uh, you might actually just unsubscribe from seeing these. But yeah, uh... Same with the path. I had a path going across here. You can see where it's going there to to that one. I'll then gonna I'm gonna do that one as like a solid path maybe to come back. I don't really know. I'll see how it is. I might do if I do this grass mud meta, like in Conquest. I might like pencil in that one with the grass mud and then have this one as mud because it's heavier than that car. So then you can show how long stuff's been. That's a really good idea. So I'll get onto that at some point. Uh, maybe. Right, these are my, <laughs> these are my, um, I can't even, I can't even look at them properly. These are my gazelles. <laughs> these are actually what I call gazelles. Now, they are quite derpy, and this face is just brilliant, because it's always looking that way. Uh, it's always look at, like, looking at you, even if it's there, it's not, but if it's over here, it just looks like, oh my god, especially if he does that, that's freaking weird. That's weird, it's like when you're close to it. But yeah, I had to weld edit some of these on, because it's the only way to get antlers. Now, I can't get them onto the head here, because it doesn't work that way. If I do, for example, this, it it doesn't stick onto its face at all. Um, 
So yeah, that was uh, a no-no, but uh, yeah, it's just I think it's brilliant. It's just it's just a slab there, player head. These are world edited on. You got a stair slab thing. And then for the feet, we've got uh, fence gates, and I have just spammed these up because I found them so derpy. The thing is, right now you come back and you go, oh yeah, there is some sort of animals there. That's kind of the point, but they look so derp. It, it's brilliant. I, I kind of like that, though. I have tried. Uh, so we've got like one here just derping around there. We've got this one that's obviously like, thinks he's a king or something. So he's just, you know, derping on this ridge, just looking over his kingdom. Uh, king Gazelle. King Derpy Gazelle, or whatever. Uh, I've also got to, to finish up all these rocks and everything. We'll, we'll go for those. So I've got them around there. I've got them around this area as well. This area's pretty much done. It's got a couple of rocks and leafy bits and stuff so yeah it's pretty much done I think uh, I could do with probably one more so we might as well grab more acacia leaves I love the acacia leaves in my pack actually they look so green down here uh, and then they're not uh, but I'm just gonna have like one right here I just think they look quite good you know so there we go gonna have a, gonna have a bush there uh, so we've got loads of them around there here so this is like their home um, pretty cool uh, I haven't made them a shelter. I was thinking about doing that on one of these episodes, uh, possibly, but I need to figure out where where do I put that shelter. And I, I might have. Uh, I was thinking that might be quite a good idea. Can I fit it in the hill? Yeah, I'll make the shelter in the hill. Actually, I'll I'll like make a I'll hollow it out and then have like a hollow. I don't I don't know what they actually live in. They probably would just sleep, you know, anywhere. But it's in case it rains, because of course we're in the UK. With the sun, um, uh, we're in the UK. At least in my fictional Minecraft world, it's just a, it's a sunny day in the UK, which happens. Sure, I'm sure somebody once said that it happened, possibly before World War Two. I'm not really too sure, but um, <laughs> it does occasionally happen sunny days. So I might do that. I might have like a hill, a hill shelter, or maybe even here, a bit sideways. Do something a bit more adventurous. Yeah, do like a a thing here, and we can just have like a little shelter in there. And, to put their food out as well, so I haven't actually done that yet, but I will do. So that then brings us on to the next derpy animal, because <laughs> they're all derpy. Oh yeah, these ones are even worse. This, this, you're going to laugh, right? These, these are warthogs, okay? Now, I think from a distance you can probably tell, yeah, there's some sort of hog animals. Uh, okay, these are the hog animals. With Mario and Luigi faces, because why the hell not? And this is a cage of oh, this jungle wood. This jungle wood that's been wrapped all the way around, uh, and their tiny little tails are just, just um, those. I don't even know if they had tails. I can't remember. Oh, quits to put some uh, of his heads here because he wanted ducks around, so that's fine. Then this Luigi or Mario is going for him. Uh, the reason I went with Luigi and Mario is simple. This is the closest thing that we've got to tusks in a player head that I could see in the library of like player heads. So I've got that, and I've also got the king one here who's a different material. And he's actually got legs. Which sounds crazy. Why is that his knockout? Um, which sounds crazy, but he, he has legs. Um, so yeah, that's like the king. Uh, now, what I also did, obviously, is built this as well, but I'm just going to talk about these. So these are like proper derpy. I've got loads of these warhogs around. Uh, I've tried to... You know, mix in a bit of dirt around the side of it and cut down on some of the bushes to, to make it feel a bit more everywhere. So I've done the same here as well. I think I need I need more variation blocks in the texture pack itself to to make this look really good. But I'll kind of work on that and I'll see kind of how it is. You know, it'll it'll be quite interesting. I'll I'll figure it out. Basically. There we go. Put all those down. Uh, yeah, so we've got those, we've got a couple of them there, we've got like one derping on a rock. Um, they just look so stupid. I mean, look at this. There's no legs on it. I did try it, right, this is what I tried. Because you will also find this really weird and creepy. Um, if I put legs on it, right, let's go for... One is dead, right, this one. Okay, if I put on, like, for example, if I have them down here, I put levers on. Now that just looks like some sort of bug. It looks like an insect. It looks like a proper insect crawling on the ground. And I tried raising them up. Uh, oh, that's not good. I did raise them all up, but it that also didn't work, obviously. So that's a bit of a shame. I'm just going to copy that one. And get rid of that. So there we go. That's good. 
So I did raise them up, I just raised one of them up, which looks okay. Now that does not like to do anything, does it? That's so weird. So weird. But um, yeah, that's cool. I uh, did that. I also did... Let me see on the depth thing. See, when you see it from a distance, like here, it looks alright. Except for when it looks at you like that and wobbles. Weird. Uh, I've also got a food trough. Again, I need to change the hay itself. I'll do that at some point. But I've just got this using the, the metallic one as like some sort of trough type thing. Uh, Water-wise, they've they've got this. Yeah, I didn't I didn't feel I had anything. Uh, this is just like a random little pigsty thing. Uh, it's pretty simple. You know, it's just a three blocks here, and it's just sections of three, and it's cut into two different ones which have just got hay in it. So this is if it rains really badly. Um, like the warthogs will probably love that, uh, but just in case they get cold. So we've just got a couple of trapdoors buttons on it, and things like that. Lots of like holes, and there's air holes going all the way through. Um, yeah, it's just going one, one, two, three. In terms of slabs, uh, and then on the back of here, I've got a couple of taps for the zookeepers. So the zookeepers can come in here, get their water, and then you know, clean them off or whatever. So if they do need water, they can get it. Basically, um, that makes kind of sense. I need to do some of this. That looks weird. Yeah, that kind of looks weird still, but that looks better. Kind of. So yeah, just got a couple of taps on the back of it. And it's just got a bit of varied materials, it's just between oak wood and spruce. It, it's just very prone to give up. We've also got another gate here, but this one hasn't been used for a while. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's kind of got like more overgrown, doesn't really get opened up uh, that often because the warthogs would just run out like crazy. Um, but that's pretty much it, I think. I think that's it. That one, for some reason, looks like it's in the ground. Is that in the ground? I think that tree is in the ground. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, maybe we'll actually dig this up. Let's... What the hell happened? No, we didn't. It's not in the ground. No, this is a different one that Nick did. I can't remember if that was shown. I think the tree episode was shown. Uh, so yeah, that's just another one that Nick did. So yeah, we've got those. Uh, we've got this busting. So, plan-wise and for the future. We need to just... Um, do a lot of the detail around these bits, really. We need to detail around you know, all of this bit before we kind of move on. I'm, I'm slowly you know, doing like this bit, and I've moved on to this bit, and I don't know what else other bits I'm going to do. But um, we need to have some shelters, proper shelters around here. We also need to do the shelter here, but I think I'll do the shelter for the gazelles next episode. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we've got up to, or what I've got up to. And I really like the curve of this road as well. I think it looks a bit crazy, especially here. Because that really steep then goes around here and then um, kind of just goes off one and gets steep around here. It's, some of it's really good, some of it isn't. That's alright though, that's just how things are. So yeah, that will go around there and then it will come back and that's your tour. Pretty cool though, I think. Um, I think it's getting there. I mean, the amount of textures I'm also adding as we go along is quite good. Uh, it pushes me with the pack, but any suggestions as always would be most welcomed. I still need to put the opaque layers in this goddamn stuff and I'm sure I will at some point promise maybe I don't know we'll see but anyway thank you very much for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this weird walkthrough episode of what's happened the last <laughs> month and a half and then got lost aha but at least we're making mega progress uh, quickly so yeah thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one